Hi, this is Daniel from CR Kennedy, the Leica Icon distributor here in Australia. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over a couple of the export options in Icon Build, specifically taking a look at custom reports and DXFs. So first up, exporting to DXF. Say I'm in the field and I've done an as built and I'm capturing a slab boundary. Capture my points. And now I would like this information to export and bring into AutoCAD. So if I go to home, export, the job I'm working on, I would like to send it to my thumb drive plugged in, the format I'd like to export it in, which is DXF, my units, millimeters, and this is the file name it's going to be saved as. Tick OK. Now if I take a look in my browser, the file I've just exported here, open this up in my CAD software, you can see now I've got my full slab drawing that I've just captured in the field and I've also got all this point information, point number, code, coordinates, these are all individual layers that you can turn on and off if they're not important to you. I can now take this information and do what I need to with it. Next export I'd like to show you is a tolerance report. Say for example, I'm on site and I'm now remarking this boundary. So, working my way along and storing these points. Guidance to those points here. Okay. Now let's say I get to one of these points here and the day's been a bit long and I'm getting a little bit lazy. 20 mil, near enough, good enough. First, you're warned, you're out of tolerance. If you choose to accept, you now have a yellow point. If you continue on and do a couple more points, again, a little bit out, accept. Last one. Okay, so I've got a couple of green and a couple of yellow. Now, if we're going to reports, there's a number of different types of reports you can export here, but I'm gonna select stakeout. Scroll down to the bottom. I've got one called stakeout info. There's a lot of different customization you can do in here. But in this case, I'm going to Tolerance Information and I've selected Tolerance in 2D and what our set tolerance is in 2D. You've also got a lot of different customization in here for layout and formats. But if I tick OK, this is what it's going to be called. Store it to my thumb drive and OK. Now if I take a look at my browser, and go to reports, stakeout, and open this one here. You can see that these points here, one, two, and three, were within tolerance, four and five, not, and six, yes. This is the tolerance that was set. It was set to 12 millimeters. And you can pre-fill all your business information here as well. This is a nice little QA report you can supply to the employer, just to show you're keeping your eye on accuracies. Alright, that's all I can show you for now in exports. Thanks for watching.